a wet spring, a good balance of sunny days and rainfall over the summer, and a dry past few weeks have helped pave the way for what should be a great fall foliage season. But foliage expert Jim Salji says it's not all good news. The oaks have been hit especially hard this year. Um, they had a shot hole leaf miner bug that um, produces these holes and that weakness allows the fungus to, to set in. Now, this is all spring fungus. Uh, we also have had a lot of caterpillars feasting on the bugs this fall. This is a tussock moth. Salji talks about squirrel mageddon last winter. Last year, um, all the tree nuts failed. Uh, we didn't have any maple, acorn, or uh, beech nuts. And uh, the squirrels, which had a high population, couldn't find food. Uh, they were running across the highways by the millions, and it was, uh, it was quite a mess. Uh, this year, we have abundant crops of maple and acorn. Uh, the trees put a lot of energy into producing seeds this year, so the crowns, the leaves are kind of thin. I don't think it's going to affect the colors of the foliage a lot, but if you look up, the, the trees are thin this year, and that definitely affects the overall show. And there are still factors to watch. Adequate rainfall is important. we got to make sure that the trees don't get too dry or we have a real short season. Uh, if it's too wet in the fall, uh, you don't get enough sunshine to make the reds pop. So when will the best foliage be in your area? Late September, you're going to go to far northern New England. Uh, places like the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, uh, Stowe, Smuggler's Notch. By early to mid-October, we're looking at all the northern New England states and uh, western Massachusetts. And more towards uh, central Massachusetts, over towards Boston, is mid to late October, ending with Boston Common in early November. It's a beautiful spot. One more player, wind. Any coastal storm can provide enough wind to take those fragile leaves right off the trees, so obviously we're hoping to avoid that over the coming weeks. Hey, if you'd like more information about anything fall foliage related, including Jim Salji's blogs, you can find links on our website, wcvb.com. I'm meteorologist A.J. Burnett, WCVB News Center 5.